Hello, and welcome everyone. In today's video, we will go through the basics of the hardware configurations in TIA Portal. First thing we will do from the project view is to double-click on Devices and Networks tab. To add a new device, we double-click on Add New Device. From this menu, we can add a new device to the project. Let's begin with adding a CPU from the controllers menu. I will be adding a 1200 series PLC to the project, so let's open up the tab. This might look confusing which CPU to add to the project. But every Siemens PLC have its CPU name written on them somewhere. For the 1200 series, we can find it on the front of it. So if we open up the right tab, we can see that it have different types of it too. To know which type we own, we have to flip the PLC over and look on the side of it. Here we can see which type we are using. We can choose a version of the CPU too. Just go with the latest version. If the version would be wrong, it will notify us when we try to download the program. Then it's just to change it to the correct version. If we want to, we can choose some security settings for the PLC, like passwords or access limits. I will just go without any at all. Now we got our PLC added to the project. It also got its own rack where we can add additional modules. If we aren't happy with the name we given our PLC, we can change it here. Or if we want to name our rack, we can give it a name here too. If we now want to expand our hardware, we can add modules to the rack. To do so we click on the Hardware Catalog button on the side. Here we can find all different kind of modules that could be needed for a project. All from CPUs, digital in and output cards, analog in and output cards, communication modules, and more. Let's add a digital input card to the project. Same like with the CPU, it will have a specific type. For this input card, we can also find which type it is on the side of it. If we just click on the input card we want, we can see that the rack spots to the right of the CPU will be selected. This helps us show where we can put our module. Let's drag the module in to a possible rack spot. As you could see, we can only add the input cards on the right side of the CPU. Let's add something we can use on the left side of it too. I will add a Profibus Master Communication Module. As you can see now that I click on this one, only the left side of the CPU's rack will be selected. That means I can only connect the communication module to the left of the CPU. Let's add one to the project. Same like with the CPU and rack, we can change name of the modules we add to the project. If we double-click on the CPU, it will open up a Settings tab. From here, we can change a bunch of settings for the CPU. We will go through how we can define and change the addresses of the CPU. If we click on the I.O. Tags tab, we can see all the CPU's tags and on which address they are connected to.
If we now want to change the address number of the digital inputs and outputs for example, we want to go back to the general tab. And from here we open up this tab. Which is the settings for our digital in and outputs. Then we click on the IO addresses tab. And from here, we can change the starting address. Let's try change the digital input starting address. I will change it from 0 to 21. If we now go back to the IO tags tab, we can see that the addresses of our inputs have changed and now starting from 21 instead of 0 and ends on 22 instead of 1. Let's do the same process on the output tags. We can also do the same thing with our input and output cards. If we double click on the input card we added to the project, then go to IO Tags tab. We can see it's preset to start at the address 8. If we go back to the general tab, we can change the starting input address just like we did on the CPU. I will change it to 13. Let's go back to the IO Tags. It is now starting at address 13. If we now want to add another CPU or maybe an HMI to the project, we need to go back to the Devices and Networks view. From the Hardware Catalog menu, I will add a second CPU to my project. To my second CPU, I will add a Profinet Slave module so we can connect our two PLCs through a Profinet cable. We will now have to go back to the Networks and Devices view to add the Profinet connection. To connect our CPUs together from the Profinet modules, we simply click on the modules connector and drag a line over to the next module. They are now connected through Profibus. I will now add a basic HMI to the project. As you can see this HMI can only be connected via Profinet. If we go back to the Devices and Networks view again, we can connect the HMI to one of the CPUs we using. To connect it, we do the same like the Profinet connection. We simply drag them together. If we look at the left column, now we can see all our devices added to the project. The last thing I want to show is how we can find our tags from the CPUs that we addressed earlier. If we go to the main organization block 1 of the first CPU we added, then we add a normally open contact. And we write percentage I21.1. Then we can see it will give us the tag name, tag1, automatically. If we now go back to Devices and Networks tab and click on our CPU, then go to the I.O. Tags tab, we can see that the CPU automatically declared our input address 21.1 with the name tag1. From this list, we can define whichever tag with any name we want. Maybe we connect two sensors and a button to the input side of the CPU. Then I would define them here. 
If we now go back to our main block. Then add another normally open contact. And we click on this button on the side. Then we can find all our tags that we just declared and we simply click on whichever we want to add to the code. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe.